So here we have the pauldron. We've done our embossing step, and now we can consider going deeper. Um, the interesting thing about leather is it's very much like wood in the sense that you can carve it um, and you can form it. And so in that respect, uh, there's a lot of opportunity for design work. But when you start, you've already done your embossing. You know what that looks like with um, just water and applied pressure. One thing I want to make clear is if you're going to carve, these are just wood carving chisels. I got them at the woodblock carving section of the Asian market that's down by where I work. Um, and so they're for woodblock carving. So it says Niji, N-I-J-I. Um, but you can find these anywhere in any crafting area. So when you're trying to carve leather, it's always good to ask yourself, do I want to carve something dry and get a groove like so? Or do I want to carve something wet? And then again, pay attention to the type of groove. So when it's wet, I can take out a significant amount of material. There's this little thing right here, tiny thing. And then there's this thing right here. Let's get closer. Can you see it? big groove there and tiny groove right here okay so taking advantage of the lighting to really show that off so that we've got a large groove so it doesn't matter which one you choose it's just whichever you're more comfortable with you'll find that when it's wet it's less work um, but then you can gouge more faster so if you're not comfortable with your carving technique um, that can be a bit of a problem so you do want to make sure to do a couple test pieces this is what your scrap leather is for. So if you're not sure, you want to sit down and go, I'm trying to carve a shape. I want that shape to look like this. I'm going to spend time just carving it so I know I don't slip, I don't snag. And when you're using the carving tools, they're sharp. They carve wood, which means that uh, when they get to your skin, they're going to stop when they hit bone. And you do want to be careful <laughs> that you're never carving towards yourself because I can tell you nothing is worse than hitting yourself straight in the end of your fingertip because fingers are drama queens. They will bleed for like 20 minutes, right? They're just trying to get the blood out of the system so that um, anything that got pushed inside you by the chisel, the blood just pumps it out so all the debris is gone and uh, hopefully there's nothing living inside you. But that being said, when you're carving, you want to carve away from yourself. So you're never doing any of this. You're never doing any of that. You're holding your material flush to the table, and you've got your carving tool placed in your palm, and you're using your entire arm to do the carve. So let's just show you. Entire arm to do the carve away from yourself, right? And you get a nice, beautiful gouge like so. So I think we're going to switch to time-lapse mode to make some progress here.